guys, this is Everything Fish, bringing you an update on both my tanks, what's going on with fishing, diving, just pretty much everything on my channel. But, before we get into that guys, guess what, we got 50 subscribers, and I say we because this isn't just my channel, this is all our channels, I made this to help educate you guys, show you guys my tanks, but 50 subscribers guys, never would have thought I'd get that many in this short a time, I mean it's been 3 months. Since I've put this channel up. I already have 50 halfway to 100. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to me and watch my videos. But anyway, we're going to start with the 30. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. It's probably hard to tell on the video. But there is just so much algae going on in here right now. Because I took out my sailfin pleco. And he was still eating algae. Which is just surprising since his species doesn't really that much for pretty lazy yeah guys if you're getting a pleco for algae which i wouldn't recommend as your main cleaning source do not get commons or sailfins they do a terrible job just get bristle nose they stay small not as dirty yeah if you want a common pleco just be prepared for a big bio load like mine is but anyways i've been, nitrates have been really high in this tank so i'm really cracking down on it now i've been doing water changes every other day just once a week siphoning every other time just letting it flow up the siphon without gravel vacuuming so i'm gonna keep at that till they hit zero and i don't want them to be about 40 by the end of the week so once it gets to there i might get a bristle nose in here just because algae is out of control guys there's noog say hi noog he's doing good i just started getting him on the hand feeding he's way better at it much more acceptant of me having my hand near him than any of my other fish, actually. But anyway, yeah, I think high nitrates are causing these guys to have semi-fin rot, but... There's Ben. Hey, Ben. Anyway, I'm getting on this. Don't worry about it. The nacris isn't doing good. It keeps getting uprooted. It won't grow too well. Although the java fern's got those nice new leaves on it. Look at that, guys. Beautiful new leaves. Although the old ones are going to need rim soon so i might get some more potted plants in here maybe a moss bowl thinking about like driftwood some more of it as a centerpiece other than that everybody in here is doing pretty good that's all that's going on let's go to the 75 now all right guys so here's the 75 gallon <coughs> got the giant dannias they're all doing awesome not much has changed with them sailfin pleco is a huge biolid in this tank you should be amazed how much waste in here when i get a siphon it but there's also a good bit of algae in here uh, you kind of see it he's pretty much given up on eating it he's more dependent on eating that driftwood than he is algae at this point <coughs> anyway my striped raphael catfish still hasn't gotten better um yeah so i don't know what i'm gonna have to do with him maybe actually get a pipette put the medicine into his stomach manually but I'm just I don't know it's been a month and a half since I've seen him eat and he's acted normal <coughs> which is when I put him sorry for coughing guys just allergy season starting up so I apologize if that's in any more videos but yeah striped raphael's doing good no new additions yet so hopefully by next weekend we'll have some more fish in here but not going to guarantee anything just did some maintenance on here uh, 25% change yesterday since it's not fully stocked yet when it is I'll be doing 50s I'm trying to do weeklies in this for both my tanks yeah guys it's really good to do more often f frequent smaller water changes and bigger ones of larger volume less often it's just easier on the, your fish yeah this canister down here can't even see it in the video <coughs> it works great it's really powerful really keeps this thing filtered but i don't know maybe it's just because first time i've used a canister but it seems way more painful to get into it and just change around media than it would be with a hang on back or a sponge filter yeah not much has changed in here oh yeah you might might have been looking for my rainbow shark in my last video when i was treating my <coughs> raphael cat but i actually several weeks ago probably like three weeks ago I got rid of him, took him back to my LFS, because he would just non-stop suck, 
Lime Coat off my Raphael, which is really not helping him get better. I got a uh, little breeder net like you use for a live bear fry. Put him in that for a week. Just thought I'd let him out because he looked depressed in there, just laying on his side. Went straight back to doing it again, so I had to put him in there for another couple hours. Then I took him to a fish store, and they took him back for free. So, don't have him anymore, but kind of sad, but, you know, couldn't have him eating my favorite fish. Although, he's, my striped draft is pretty much tied now for my favorite with my Asian bumblebee. They both are very personable fish, but, yeah, not much in here has changed, so, that's my 75 update. Now, <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Like I said, allergies. Um, that looks dirty, but I don't know why. Anyway, fishing now. We're getting into that, so if you're still with me, that means you care about my fishing videos. Went out three times this year so far. All fly fishing and delayed harvest section of my creek. Caught one rainbow trout every time I went out. It got stocked. Got some pictures right here on my iPad. There's one. That, no, that is not power bait. That's a glow bug, so don't yell at me. That's a nice fish. 12 incher about three quarters pound and then look at this beauty guys that is a nice fish right there very nice fish got that blue hues in it yeah it was about same size although that might have been an inch or so bigger that was a 13 or 14 incher about a pound maybe a pound and a quarter nice fish got that on a sand one worm fly and then some of the flies I've been tying up at the woolly buggers. These are supposed to look like yellow streamers. Glow bugs, sand one worms, uh, jigs, a bunch of other stuff. More glow bugs, streamers. You guys get it. If you even care about this stuff. And then my gigantic sand one worm I tied. Yeah, that's what's going on with fishing. In terms of diving. Do not expect anything until like May, guys, because it's way too cold in those quarries right now. Even for dry suit, which I will not be doing, I'm just wetsuit. I can't really afford to be getting those expensive dry suits, but yeah, it'll start around May. Get some nice footage of fish for you guys, because I know that's what you care about. Maybe you see some bluegills nesting, if we're lucky. Yet, um, in terms of fishing videos, I'm not going to record every time I go out, guys. It's going to be more pictures like this because I'm probably going to be recording with a GoPro. I haven't got it yet, but maybe in a couple weeks get one. The head strap waterproof case in case it felt falls in. I hope it doesn't, but, you know, just as a precaution, let you look at the fish while I talk rather than the turned off iPad. Yeah, it's going to be... Doing that, more pictures because it's really annoying. I can't record every time I go out, do intros. It'd be a pain. Same with diving. I'm going to try to do every other dive instead of every dive because it'd be a pain to have that hooked to my head for every time I go under. Yeah, I'm going to be doing more like fishing reports, showing you guys pictures of ones. And I will get a picture of every fish I catch unless it's like gasping for air and it needs to go back into the water immediately. Be showing you guys the pictures, telling you what I used for them, what tackle, where I caught them at. And I will be doing some actual videos of it, but I'm going to be doing more reports, pictures, maybe some DIY videos on fishing bait once it gets into bait fishing season. So probably about another month or so. Yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on my channel so again guys thanks for 50 subscribers you guys are awesome i will see you next video